Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the finest Dawn of War unification cast this side of East Yorkshire. And today I've got one versus one on Sad Spires. Over in the Chaos Corner, we've got the Skybug. It's over in the Imperial Guard Corner, we've got Fiscus. Fiscus is going to be opening with Conscripts, Double Guardsmen, and a Tech Priest Engine Seer. Whereas the Chaos Plate is going to go for Double Cultist, Heretic, and a Chaos Temple. So, we haven't done a game on this map before. As you can see, there's loads of spires which I assume are quite sad. We've got some Necron tier rubbles and, and abandoned ruins over in the middle with a critical location. We do have relics on either side of the map, as well as some critical locations which are kind of on these little plateaus over here. So very exciting all, all in all. Infantry Command being put snugly in this little place over yonder for defensive purposes, I assume, while the Guardsmen will be pushing out, going to capture what they can around the base. Plasma Generator going for the Chaos Player as well as a Chaos Lord. Now, I suppose that being unification, you'll, you'll probably notice that there's a few little differences for each of these factions. One of the first... No, uh, how would I say? One of the first differences that you will notice for the Imperial Guard is that they've got these conscripts. Very low on morale and health. You don't want to send these guys into too much peril unless you're primarily using them to soak up damage. You won't be winning any wars with these guys, but they do come out a little bit quicker than your regular guardsmen from the HQ building. And they also, their reinforcement rate is really high as well, so excellent bullet sponges. Lord of Chaos. Look at that. Nice little helmet on this dude. Looks like one of those um, uh, helmets that you get from the campaign where you get uh, the one of the war hero upgrades. Or war gear upgrades, shall I say. Which is very nice. Cultists on this game as well, they can get some research where they're able to do some uh, worship and they're able to basically give nearby units some buffs. Kind of like how the worship in Dawn of War 2 works. They are also able to get a separate upgrade which turns them into not cultists, turns them into uh, like baddie Imperial Guardsmen, Traitor Guardsmen or something similar to that. They will lose their ability to do some worship but they do also increase in general damage and whatnot. Command squad now out on the field, having a look at this cursed Lobel and deciding against rumbling and tumbling with him in close combat, going to wait for his priest and his psyker to come out to play, listening post being finished. And the Guardsmen over here capturing this critical location. No major assault going on at the moment. Although these conscripts won't survive for very long. Will run away into the listening post. Command squad having a look to see if he can bash this dude a little bit in close combat. Now the priest has been summoned. Although oh, Lord of mercy on my cell. One strike from the Dark Blade of the Chaos Lord. Does a fair bit of damage. Chaos Spaceman's over here as well. Going to be... Applying some long-range support for their Lord of Darkness. Cultists over yonder, slicing and dicing these guardsmen. These guys don't exactly know where they're going. They're running forward, running backwards. Morale has been broken. And it does look like that these guys are going to fall into an untimely end. Dear oh dear. More souls for the Force of Chaos to munch on. Listing post will be upgraded. The guardsmen already in. I mean, are, are the guardsmen here at the moment? Ah, uh, yeah, the, the conscripts are also in here, so they will be able to fire out in a defensive manner. I suppose that's another useful thing for the conscripts as well, is that you could just throw them into a listing post and their defensive capabilities is still quite useful. Do have a medic in this squad, wherever he is. Ah, uh, there you see him with his little, a little backpack there. Increase the general regeneration rate of these guys. Hair bottle talk going on, going to be built up over here. So, Guardsmen seem to be hunkering down. While this is going on, the Guardsmen are char charging into the corner over here, but Heavy Bottle Turret and a Cultist Squad are going to slice these guys up. Does look like he was given a move order to try and capture this listing post over here. But the Force of Chaos already capturing it themselves. Chaos Armor going to go down. But no... Tactical control for the Imperial Guard. Victory is assured. I've got a what is your wish? promise off to the Emperor, inspire their are. conscripts. And the Chaos Marines are just are just, just chilling, chilling, having a casual walk down the middle. So I suppose what what what's the general plan for either player? 
I mean, this is a wonderful map for the Imperial Guard to play defensive on. I mean, to get into the base, you've only really got one area and this area. But then again, I mean, playing too defensively won't get them anything as these critical locations will force them out of their tersling position. At the moment, the soft underbelly of the Guardsman is being exposed. Listening post here has not been built up yet. Tech Priest engine seer going to go down. I do quite like what the Chaos player is doing. Quite a lot of times you will see players just bash their heads against the most fortified position of the Guardsman. But why sacrifice all the units when you can just go around the fortified position? Tepris Engine Seer has been chased away. Guardsmen will be able to use this light cover if they want to play defensively. Doesn't look like they will though. Heavy bolt to be going to be placed down here. Which I'm not sure if that's the wisest thing to do. You kind of want to defend this relic at the very least. It is one listening post that they won't be able to build, so they will, their economy will be a bit behind the Six Chaos player. 80 and 20 for the Imperial Guard, compared to the 98 and 40. Or oh, gonna go for tier 2. And power swords as well. Imperial Guard not entirely sure what they're gonna do in this situation. The tactical control is gonna be built up. Will be ideal to see some grenade launches on these guys. At the moment, with all these heavy bolter turrets for the Chaos Space Marines, we'll be able to whittle down their numbers very quickly. Guardsmen hopefully going to go over here and see if they can press and harry this critical location, or at least take one down. The Chaos Plate is about to get all three, so we'll need to start decapping two at the very least. Even with Unification having some updates for the cultists, the voice line is still the most infuriating thing in all of Dawn of War. Guardsmen over here not having the best time, getting their numbers whittled down quite substantially. Mind you, it is five minutes for the Guardsmen to pull some moves out. A lot of resources for the Chaos play at the moment. Guardsmen spending his money wisely there. Battle armor and uncommon valor for the guardsmen will keep them alive and kicking a little bit longer against these heavy bolt uh, these heavy bolters for the cast marines. Another turret going to go on down here. Guardsmen have to decide whether they're going to make a break or resign themselves to surrender. Not sure why there's so much artifacting going on for this particular side of the map. I am on it. The hand of the emperor guides all. Imagine they'll be going for this critical location down here simultaneously for another one. It all depends on what this Chaos faction down here is going to do. I imagine when they see the Guardsmen push up the Liver, go in to smash up their economy, or try and retaliate in some way. We shall have to see. Heavy bottles are going to go on down here. Again, fairly defensively to be honest. Might want to move that up a little bit further. This culture squad not going to survive against this torrent of guardsmen with all their grenade launchers. Command squad going to move forward. Probably tanking all the damage from this heavy bottle to it. While it's going to go on, the Chaos Lord, as well as some Chaos Space Marines, are going to move forward. Plasma gun on this lad. Going to be spanking that listing purse, but not as quickly as he likes. But he's doing a good, good job at tanking all this damage. Going to see some guardsmen coming out. We'll probably be jumping into these field commands. More up. Oh, we've, got, we've got a full-blown Havoc Marine squad coming out. These guys are quite pricey at 70 blue money and 10 green money. Also going to go for missile launcher to crack open these listing posts and heavy bolters. Horror squad on the field as well. Going to be useful at taking down these heavy bolter turrets and whatnot. Guardsmen now running back. They have less some guys to capture this critical location. But yeah, there's quite a sizable amount of Chaos Marines moving in. With the grenade launchers of the Guardsmen. There are quite a lot of these lads as well. And if they get inspired by the Commissar, firing away and increasing their attack damage, they might even be able to push these Chaos Marines back. But this is a lot of ranged DPS for the Guardsmen to deal with, especially these heavy bolters, need to get either their morale broken just to reduce their 
the overall DPS or get them tied up using the command squad. Only two minutes, or just over two minutes, for the Imperial Guard player to stop the critical location countdown going on. They will take that, but then surely they will now realise that they need to go and take over this one in the middle. It's currently undefended, so they could just send one squad over. But we'll have to do that sometime soon. Pull this on it. Further increasing the morale of these guardsmen. And it's a bit of a Mexican standoff at the moment. Sure, what I've played is going to go for some corn berserkers from the Chaos Temple, machine pit as well, and a source of a lord on the field using that model from Warhammer. Uh, sorry, Dawn of War 2. Very attractive looking model, I do have to say. Being fist bumped by the heretic as he walks by. Eager for More guardsmen being summoned, and here we go. The engagement is a beginning. Chaos Marines tanking a lot of damage. Being cut down quite quickly, to be honest. Command squad moving in, moving forward. Being zapped by the Psyker. Morale has been broken on the Guardsman over yonder. Havoc squads and a good chunk of horror squads firing where this field command. But the Chaos Marines have had their morale broken. Lost both their heavy bolters. I want to move these Havoc Marines up. A bit of a misplay going on over there. We are focusing on the field command at the moment for reasons beyond my ken. But to be honest, the Chaos player aren't going to break now that they've given the Guardsmen enough time to rebuild their units. They um, uh, probably aren't going to break this this line of, of, of las guns. Well, the Havocs are still, still firing away. It still will be a mean customer to deal with. Eldritch Bolts breaking all the morale of Almost all the Guardsmen, to be honest. Critical location victory has been denied for the Chaos Space Marine player as well. So now is the time for the Guardsmen to push out. 74 and 30 compared to 104 and 50. Big green money float going on there as well. We'll go for vehicle cap increase. Is the only true answer. So I suppose realistically what the Chaos player just needs to do now is just invest in more lads. Lost their Chaos Lord in that as well, crazy. Gonna go for Warp Smith as well. Anything from the Sacrificial Pit, nothing too drastic or exciting. We have the Imperial Guard need to act now and act fast if they want to keep in the game. We'll have to take the good number of units and move over here while these Havocs are relatively unsupported. I mean, they've got some horror squads over here, but they're not gonna do all that much against the Guardsmen of all things. But no, they're just quite content at, at chilling out in their base. Chaos Vindicator out on the field. Look at that bad boy. Going to be charging in. The Guardsmen currently don't have an answer for this. Nothing in the way of... Big guns in the form of anti-vehicle weaponry. Could, get, could potentially go for some heavy weapons teams, but it doesn't seem like that. And there we go, they've spent so much time playing defensively, and then the moment the Chaos Vindicator comes over, that's when they've decided to leave. So very poor timing for these guys. Do have a Defiler on the field as well, we'll move down the middle. Gonna go for a Decimator as well. Which is quite a good, tasty looking unit when it comes out, we'll have to get a close up on that unit when we, when he, when, when we see it. Defiler moving forward. You can see these guys and start blasting them from a distance. Beautiful purple explosions. Taking old victory. Taking old victory countdown is a ticking for the guardsmen. True. Do imagine, yeah, the cultists over here are going to be decapping that critical location, so they'll they'll be fine. These blooming spires make casting really flipping difficult. That they're not. Very difficult to see the actual battle going on. God blimey. There we go. We now have a Decimator on the field. It's like a mini knight, I suppose. Look at that beautiful model. Very tasty look at going on over there. And now the Chaos player is moving into the base once again. Taking down Listening Post. Guardsman with no real answer to any form of heavy weapons. I mean, uh, uh, tanks. They are going to go for the Heavy Weapons team now. 
Got some mutilators on the field moving in. Like obliterators, but just absolutely deadly in close combat. Been whittled down very quickly, though. Especially with all these guardsmen jumping in the buildings. Absolutely terrifying unit as well. Decimator decimating everything in front of him. Vindicator firing away. And it does look like the death knell for the Imperial Guard player. Playing a little bit too defensively, I'd have to say. Not quite getting out there and pressing the advantage when he had it. Could have taken out these Havocs a little bit earlier. And I would say it's not the most exciting game I've seen on this channel. But I'll be honest with you guys and girls back at home. I've been spent I've spent the past two hours trying to find a decent, interesting game, and this is this is the best we got going for us. And at least we get to see really nice units. We have a demon prince spawning in the middle of all this. And yeah, the guardsmen have no, no answer for this impressive chaos roster. Yeah, he will throw out a surrender. Or was it a surrender or did he just get his um, HQ blown up? But yeah, that, that's 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 it. That's it for for this uh, game today. I would have to say. Uh, cool. Uh, anyway, uh, mine's from this lunch. Right, as always, never chop. And I will see you in a bit. Peace.